Alrighty, so apparently the new Raspberry Pi Imager released a new version, and this is version 1.6, so I've been using version 1.5 for the last little bit, and I've actually really enjoyed it, but apparently on version 1.6, there are some special features, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at that and see what we have to find out. So let's first of all, first off, let's go download the newest version, so let's just type in Imager. Or a Raspberry Pi Imager. And let's download the latest version. Because right here, I have version 1.5 installed right now. So download for Mac OS. And this will work on basically any operating system. So don't look at that I'm using Mac OS right now. You can even install this on your Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter. So I just click the DMG file. Let it open it up. And... Let's copy over the new ver newer version. So, yes, I want to replace. Alrighty, so I can actually just eject this drive. And now let's take a look and see what is so cool about this new Raspberry Pi Imager version. So we click on it. I'm going to click open. And here we have it, Raspberry Pi Imager version 1.6, you see from right here. So overall, it looks pretty normal. The only things that do look a bit different is we do have, not there, we have Manjaro now in Raspberry Pi Imager. So that is pretty awesome. I'm super excited about that. Now I can flash all my favorite Manjaro images just from my Raspberry Pi Imager. And other things, it looks like they added Octopi, which if you use a 3D printer, you might want to check that out. Other than that, it looks pretty normal to me, but there's actually a secret trick in here. So what you're going to do, you're going to hit Control shift x Look at that, a whole advanced option window opens up. This is super awesome, and I'm excited to see what we can do with here. So you can basically set up your whole operating system from the imager, so when you boot up your Raspberry Pi, you don't have to go through any setup process. It will already be set up for you. So it says image customi customization options. You can do for this session only or to always use. It doesn't matter. Like for my monitor, I do have to disable overscan. So I'm going to tick that. Host name, Raspberry Pi is good enough for me. So I'm not going to change that. This is actually really useful. For people who want to do SSH, they can enable it from the imager now. It's that easy. You don't have to worry about adding files or doing anything else like that. I don't want SSH. Wi-Fi, I could set up Wi-Fi, but I'm going to use Ethernet. Local settings, I can actually change that to Europe Istanbul if I want that. And then keyboard layout, US is what I want. And yeah, I want to skip the first run wizard. So right when I boot up my Raspberry Pi, I'll be in the desktop and I won't have to do any setup whatsoever. And these are some other settings down here. So you can customize your Raspberry Pi however you want from the imager. You can make it to always use or only for the session. We're going to click save. And we're going to try it out and see how it works. So let's click save. And the save button was not working. So let's make sure that it did save. So yeah, it did save it. I don't know the save. So you just click the X button. Choose OS. I'm going to go Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit. Choose storage. My USB stick. Right. Yes. Type in my password, and then we'll boot up and see if these local settings actually did happen, if it actually does work. Ladies and gentlemen, here we are, and it booted up straight into the desktop, and because I clicked that tick button, it did not ask me to go through a setup, surprisingly enough. I mean, it, it showed up. But I just hit the X button, and I checked all my other settings were already there. So my user, my new password, my overscan was already enabled. So surprisingly enough, it works incredibly well. So yeah, this new tool in Raspberry Pi Imager is going to be incredibly useful for people who want to do like SSH, and they want to set it up, and they're not going to connect their Pi to a monitor whatsoever. This tool will be incredibly helpful for those type of people. And you can just make it always, so every time you flash an operating system, you won't have to redo it. And let's just try on Raspberry Pi OS right now and see if that same feature is there. Sudo apt install rpi dash imager. Hit enter and y. 
So now let's check it out on Raspberry Pi OS and see if this thing performs the same as it did on Mac OS and Windows. Alrighty, so let's go ahead over here and let's open it up. It should be an accessories imager. And it says there's a newer version of imager available. Yes. Oh, so this version must not be in the Raspberry Pi OS repos yet. So that is kind of a bummer, but by the time you watch this video, it might be out. I don't know. So right now, the version 1.6 isn't available on Raspberry Pi OS. You could build it from source and get it, or you can just wait a little bit, and they would they should probably add it to the repos pretty soon. But overall, it's an awesome feature. I am really enjoyed it. And if you thought this video was cool, please hit that like button. And yeah, thanks for watching.